So the house got so messy. I honestly like don't know how it always gets so messy. I still have spring decor up. Do you see that? I have Easter and spring decor up still. I don't know why it's so bad. The dining room looks fine, but I'm going to kind of clean it. The kitchen looks okay. Closet's kind of messy. And also, I need to put in winter clothes in the closet and fall clothes because now I have like all summer clothes out. And then I have a bunch of stuff here. I just filmed my fall haul video and I got these things in the fall hauls. I'll link that video in the corner of the screen if you guys want to watch it. These are just some like decorations, some extra decorations that I got. Also, do you see this? Oh my gosh. So Julie's shoes were on the floor and I accidentally stepped on them and I broke not one, but both of them. So now I need to fix this because her shoes literally broke in. Like what? This I'm going to try to glue that together because <laughs> her shoes, these are like really cute shoes too. And I don't want them to be broken. So I'm going to try to glue those together. We're going to first clean this up. And then I think I'm going to get all the Halloween decorations out. All of my Halloween decorations are in here and... I think I'm going to take them out and show you guys all the stuff I have later. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the spring stuff out because, like, I don't know why I still have spring stuff. So my camera battery died, like always. My camera battery always dies, which is so annoying. But basically, I took a break. And then along with my camera battery always dying, my camera is, it keeps stopping when I record. It's literally so frustrating though, because I have to always stop filming. I'm gonna try to be positive. You know, this is a fun vlog. I've just been so stressed recently because I have to pre-record like a million videos and edit them all before I leave. And my camera keeps stopping. I think I need to get a new SD card because something is up. I don't know, but anyways, I've been editing a video. So I've just been editing that. I kind of cleaned the house a little bit. So now this is my Halloween decor. So let's open this box and see what we have in here. Also, oh my gosh, I need to take this nail off. This is so embarrassing. I had fake nails on because um, I was filming two videos and then I took all of them off except this one. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take that off. <laughs> okay, so here, oh my gosh, my doll's in the background. Okay, I took my nail off, so don't worry. My nails look fine now, but I have my whole box filled with my Halloween decorations and I'm so excited. I love Halloween so much though. So. And a lot of this stuff I actually made, I'm gonna go through it really quickly though. I think I have a video unboxing all of my fall Halloween decorations. So I'll link that in the corner of the screen and I'll link in the description a bunch of videos you guys can watch after this one that are like Halloween and fall related. But first I have some cute pumpkins. I think these are from the Target dollar spot. Another one, a black one. These are so cute. And then I have a pillow that I made. It's lopsided, but that's okay. I have this fall garland I made. A bunch of these fake spiders. Ooh, scary. They're like rings, but I just cut the ring part off of most of them. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. I hate spiders so much. And I have these. They got a little bent, but they are just pieces of ribbon that... I cut as table runners for the dining room and for the living room. I have this little DVD I made for Hocus Pocus. I'm like, I love Hocus Pocus. It's kind of scary though. And then I have a bunch of these little buckets. I got all of these at the dollar store and I think it came with like six and they're so cute and mini. Oh my gosh. And I made like a bunch of candy to go inside of here. Made this a while ago. It's supposed to be punch for a party, but it kind of looks a little scary now, but it has like a spider skull and then I put little beads to look like ice. Then I have another little pumpkin. This one's a cute one for fall. More buckets, paper plates from an American Girl craft set. I have this really cute sign from Michael's. These were like 50 cents, I think. I got a couple of those. And then I have this little pumpkin. I don't have these like little cookies that I made. Cookies, I mean, they're just pieces of foam. And then I have another sign. This, this little Halloween bingo thing from this stuff I'll show at the end because it's a lot. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look. I have these cute lights. They're like little mason jars. They're so cute. 
These are from the Target Dollar Spot, of course. The Target Dollar Spot has the best stuff. And they're like little pumpkin mason jars. I have these little buckets I forgot about. But these are from Michael's. They were like really inexpensive. I have a watering can. This is not Halloween related. I don't know why this is in here. An October coffee flavors type of thing. This is from my bakery. I haven't used my bakery in forever though. And I have some placemats for Thanksgiving. Another pillow. This one I made as well. It's just a yellow plaid one. It's really cute. And then I made more pillows. This one says boo. This one, oh my gosh. It's like, what even is this? It's like... Not even a square or rectangle. I should remake some pillows, honestly. This is some autumn fill. I always put this in like a mason jar and it has papers and then actual real acorns that I put in the oven just in case there were bugs in them to like kill the bugs. That sounds really gross, but yeah. And then I put glitter on the end. I have more lights. <gasps> That is so cute. Oh my spider web. Ugh. And then more ribbon. I can cut more for the table runner. I have a whole bag full of more spiders. I have more plates. Another sign. And then I think the rest is just like some random things. I have this little sign. Another bucket filled with a lot of more candy. These candies don't even look real though. Like, what was I thinking? I was really young when I made these. This is so cute. It's a little tombstone. It's so heavy. I have a cake that I made out of a sponge. I don't know. It's kind of cute. And then we have all of our Halloween and fall like treats and foods so i actually filmed a video on how i made this stuff but i think i never was able to upload it because i just didn't have time so like i could never upload the video or edit it but i made these in that video i got the apples from michael's and then dipped them in paint and then i have these which are so cute they're little caramel apples and then i also made lollipops for the video i'm so upset that this video i could never post it Ugh, i love these i should make these for my etsy shop Wait, that would be so cute, like hol holiday themed ones. And then I made more candy apples, and then I actually made candy corn out of polymer clay too. Out of polymer clay, little chocolate bars, little cookies. It took so long to unbox, but so now I'm so excited to decorate the rooms in the house. Look how much stuff. Let's try to take a picture for a thumbnail. Thumbnail. So I have all my decorations on the floor right now, and now I'm going to decorate the dollhouse. Also, while I decorate the dollhouse, I'm watching old Disney Halloween-themed episodes. I'm watching the That's a Raven one right now. I love the old Disney Halloween specials that they always had. That's so Raven was such a good show. Also, Sweet Life on Deck was so good. And Montana Wizards. Let me know down below which old Disney show was your favorite. I have so many. So this is going to take me a while to decorate, but I'm going to take you guys along with me. You're going to watch me do the whole thing basically so let's get decorating So cute. I think this is what I'm gonna do, but I'm also going to print a photo to put in the TV to make it look like they're watching a Halloween movie, but I have to still print that out. I had one that was like a Hocus Pocus movie scene, but I don't know where it went. I think maybe I accidentally threw it out. I don't know. I'm gonna give you guys a little overview so far. So on the table, I put a remote, the table runner, a little Hocus Pocus DVD, and then I put a bowl with some candy corn that I made from polymer clay and cookies on the AG Halloween plate. I think the coffee table is so cute. And then over here, here I put a bunch of pillows, a little pumpkin, I, I put spiders all around the room and then I hung the light and then over here I put a little sign on the fireplace. I put a little trick or treat basket and then I put some chocolate bars in it and I think that looks so cute next to the TV and then I just put another pillow and then this tombstone and then spiders by the way this living room is unfinished as you can see the floors are unfinished and i want to change the couches to instead be a different fabric hey guys so it's actually the next day and i stopped filming yesterday night because there was a giant bug right next to my dollhouse and i got so scared i had a full-on panic attack because there was a giant bug like right next to my doll's kitchen it was so scary so i just stopped and it was just not a good day for me i didn't really add too much 
I added a little sign in the TV. I printed this Halloween Town image from Google Images and it's kind of short. It's a little bit too small though, so I guess they're just not going to be watching in HD. But this living room is definitely like my favorite room right now. Okay, so here is the dining room and for the dining room, I mostly added all of the candy and the food items that I had. So on the table, I just added like a little bingo card. The table runner is just a piece of ribbon, a pumpkin, a little cake I made in the back, and then all these caramel apples. A lot of people on my Instagram were wondering where these are from, but I actually made them. I got the apples from Michael's and then I dipped them in Mod Podge and paint and that's basically how I made them and I put toothpicks in them. And then in the back, I added a little bucket full of lollipops, sliders, and a sign. I think this is so cute. I made all these lollipops from polymer clay. And then here's the kitchen. I didn't really add too much to here, but I did add some pumpkin pie on the island to make it look like they're eating pumpkin pie. I added a little pumpkin basket there with a plate, scary sign, and then I put caramel apples in the back on like a little pan because I had extra and then I just put two pumpkins right here. So those are the three rooms I always decorate. Um, I love the living room so much though. It's definitely my favorite room. And right next to the living room, I have the backyard, but I'm actually going to change that room in the future and make it into a different room. So I'm not going to be decorating that room at all. So my camera is actually having like a lot of problems. I don't really know why. I think there's a problem with my SD card. So I'm just going to be um, filming a little part of my phone right now because my camera is literally not working and I still want to film for you guys. So I already decorated all these rooms and little house. I have some stuff in here still though that I need to like put away. I have these lights that I'm not going to be using. I'm actually going to use these for a room that I'm making. And then I have this pumpkin I'm going to put on my desk and then a little more like pumpkins and pine cones. Um, but yeah, so now moving on to my desk area, I'm first just going to clean this off and then I'm going to decorate it. I'm not going to decorate it a lot. I'm just going to put these lights that I have, um, probably around the desk area. And then I'm going to put this pumpkin and probably some pine cones. But also I just wanted to show you guys this. I just got these letters in my PO box. I just went to my PO box and I recently got a box. Look how cute it is pretty things inside it's so cute i got this box from michael's and in it i'm going to be putting all of my p.o box mail that i ever get to keep it safe so i can always look at it and these letters i'm actually going to be opening in my new p.o box video which is going to be filmed in december because the time that you're watching this i'm actually going to be in a different country i'm going to be in the czech republic studying abroad which is so exciting make sure you subscribe to my personal channel to stay in touch with me so i'm going to be opening these when i come home in december and i'll do a whole new p.o box um opening video for you guys but for now i'm just gonna keep them here so don't worry guys i will be opening them on camera before i put the decorations on the desk i'm gonna just show you guys this so i made this little map for um my etsy shop so anytime someone orders from a state i'll color it in so hopefully i can one day get 50 states It'd be like literally so amazing and mind-blowing to me but yeah i just think it's so fun and it kind of keeps me motivated to to try to get all the 50 states because i have really been loving running my etsy shop i link it down below all the time so you guys should definitely check it out and i have a lot of stuff in stock but yeah so now i'm going to decorate the desk hey guys so it's the next day and I finished cleaning the desk, so the desk is all clean, and all I did was I just added these little lights that I had, these pumpkin lights around it, and that's all I did. I forgot to add this. Yeah, I think this is the final product. It looks so cute. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'm sorry I had to film the end with my phone, but my camera has just been having some problems. Also, I just want to let you guys know that I might not be posting every single week. I'll try my best to post consistently, but it's going to be a little bit hard because with the new school year, it's going to be a little difficult for me. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!